1 minus 0 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. This is our final answer. One minus one is zero. Zero kind of minus one. So what do we do? We borrow from here. When we borrow this one, this one becomes zero. Remember, this is binary. It is base two. So what we are borrowing is two. Okay? Because this is base two, what we are borrowing is what? Is two. So we borrow from this one. So this becomes 2. So 2 minus 1 is 1. This one is already 0. So this is your final answer. zero cannot minus one so what do we do we borrow from here when you borrow this one this one becomes zero what are we borrowing two two minus one is one this is already zero so zero minus zero is zero one minus one is zero one minus zero is one this cannot minus this so what do we do we borrow this becomes zero what are we borrowing two two minus one is one so this is your final answer did you get it right good One minus zero is one. This cannot subtract this. So what do we do? We borrow from here. This becomes zero and this becomes two. Two minus one is one. Zero minus zero is zero. One minus one is zero. Zero cannot minus one. We borrow from here. When we borrow, this becomes zero and this becomes two. 2 minus 1 is 1. 0 cannot minus 1, right? So we borrow from here and add to this. This becomes 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. This is already 0. So we can write down 0. This is our final answer. Do you understand? Good. In this case, we subtract because we are looking for the value of x. Zero minus zero is zero. One minus one is zero. One minus zero is one. Zero cannot, cannot minus one. So what do we do? We borrow from here. This one is zero. We cannot borrow from here. So we borrow from here. When we borrow from here, this one becomes zero. Then this becomes two. We are going here, right? So we borrow another one from here. This remains one and this becomes two. Two minus one is one. This is already 1, so 1 minus 1 is 0. This is already 0. Then 1. This is the value of x. Did you get it right?